Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Premi, and where is my face? Oh my goodness. Logitech, there it is. Cut. Welcome. Um, we are really close, and I mean, it's like super close. And since it's Friday, I'm going to try to get this finished out. But in order to do so, I'm going to have to do a couple of cuts here and a couple of other things there. But I'm going to have to build really fast and do some pauses and stuff like that. So if this is your first time watching this channel, um, I am making a palm bridge and heading over to the palms. But it's been a very, very long journey. So give me a second. I'll get up there and we'll start building right now. There we go. Welcome back. All right. Um, for the most part, I mean, I don't expect to actually get this finished, but I was super excited to see how close we were um, from everyone helping out and from getting so many doors and getting some help from all my friends. I just really appreciate it a lot. And why am I not building correctly? Hold on. These are like all over the place. There we go. Um, I hope the volume's okay because a couple of times the volume's been all kinds of messed up, but test, test, test. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Uh, I was trying to render something today and it was just quit taking forever. So I had to quit, but I have an idea for a, a video coming out soon. Um, hopefully I can let it render over the weekend. Um, and yeah, maybe I need to change the the frame rate of it or something who knows hey if you saw me on omegle or if you came over here from omegle um quick warning omegle itself is not family friendly it's not safe at all but there I, i've seen a lot of videos on people doing omegle and uh i figured i'd go over there and just kind of hang out and see what it was all about see if i could make a video about it i'm not sure i could make a video um pertaining to omegle uh parents if you've um if you hear that your kids are on Omegle, double check and, and be very aware that it is not uh, monitored at all. So, no offense, Omegle, if you're watching. But, I mean, it is it is a pretty cool place where you can hang out and, and chat with random people on the internet. But, I mean, that's just it. It is random people on the internet. And people think they can hide under their anonymity and stuff like that. And it's just not true. It's scary. <laughs> well, it's... Yeah. I won't go into details. But it's, it's not something that I would be able to do. I, I think if I were to do some heavy heavy editing I might be able to get one video out of it but that's it um, anyhow um, it was supposed to be like a, a a video chat with strangers and it's just it's like a random rolling of people where it's yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna move on we're not gonna talk about it anymore so <laughs> if I happen to do a video about it that'll be awesome if not uh, that's cool too I, I can still keep doing these videos and just talking about life in general. And that's what I like. I like the nice, easy music in the background. Oh, goodness. That was not good. Building up. And I know a lot of you probably don't play Lumber Tycoon 2. You just come here for the, the commentary and the voice. And I'm okay with that, too. Um, just so you know, I have other series. Not just these. I have, um, I just heard a tweet. I have, what do I have? <clears throat> um, Subnautica. I played an entire series of Subnautica and uh, one of the fans yesterday, they, they didn't realize it. He said, I just love putting your voice on in the background and then chilling in Subnautica. I'm like, you talking about my series or are you talking about like playing and then putting on Lumber Tycoon in the background? He goes, you did a series? <laughs> I was like, yeah, dude, it was like so fun. It was awesome. So, uh, the COVID has got me down. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little sad that we're still restricted and locked down, but not because of like me being able to go out or do anything. It's because like I haven't gone to work work in a while. I haven't physically gone to work in a while, and I think that's that's waning on me a little bit. Because I miss having the office to go to. I miss having the ability to get away from my family and kids. No offense to them. Love them to death. But being cooped up in the house with everyone for three weeks now. Is it three weeks? Is, it's a little exhausting. 
I'm not gonna lie. But I think that's that's everyone's case at the moment. And it's okay. It's okay to be tired of someone um, if you're stuck with them constantly for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you know? That's okay. Stay safe and, and just realize that everybody's going through it. And mainly I'm just talking for myself. <laughs> And yeah, we'll get through it. It'll it'll be okay. I think um, training has been pretty cool because because of the ability to um, move at my own pace and not have people interrupt and, and call in my phone or walking in the office all the time, um, which doesn't happen quite so often since we we kind of moved around, but um, it definitely definitely helps. Being able to come out here, throw on the headphones, and just do training. Oh my goodness. Um, I've been doing the, the robot stuff. And we just got our account switched over from, from the community edition to the enterprise edition. So now I have the enterprise training. So I can do the, the corporate -y stuff. The stuff in the background. It's pretty cool. <laughs> just saying. And I think... Uh, I, I, I still don't think... Um, the people who are making the decisions about it quite have a handle. And I'm not talking about my own boss. My own boss has seen this. I'm talking about like uh, some of the, the higher ups um, as far as their job titles and stuff. I don't think they have an understanding of what it is. And I can't mention it here because it's, it's like proprietary. We had to sign a non-disclosure agreement. So, well, anyhow, that's what he said. My boss said he had to sign, so <clears throat> I'm gonna come as close to the edge as I can without having to push it over to the edge. <laughs> Basically, I'm able to program automations. So you guys know the bot videos that I made back in the past with like Roblox, uh, not Roblox. Well, yeah, I've I've done a, a bot video for Roblox. Um, I didn't do anything with it, but I did do the concept of like being able to move the avatar without touching the keyboard or mouse, doing doing automation, having him walk a path, you know? Um, not just Roblox, I've, I've done that for um, RuneScape and for some other games and Club Penguin, the fishing program, stuff like that. Not the penguin fishing, not, not like fishing accounts and stuff like that, different term, not hackery, it's just automations. So, um, that was actually pretty cool. Anyhow, that's that's kind of what I'm doing for the business that I work for now. I'm actually creating automations. Uh, one lady today, uh, I was helping her out with her computer. I forgot what it was. Um, I think it was just the printer. It may have just been a printer issue or something. And uh, she goes, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm, I'm programming bots. She goes, <laughs> to take over our jobs. And I said, well, kind of. And she goes, what? <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't freak out. I'm not taking over your job. It's an idea of like every employee has, well, one bot for every employee. So they can run their own bots. That's, that's how this is going to be. Like I'm going to be creating these automations. You tell me what the process is, what you do on a daily basis for this particular report or for this particular person or this particular thing. You tell me what you do and I'll go and create this bot that kind of does it for you, but you still have to be the person to push the button and to watch it go through its process. It's not gonna be completely autonomous. Um, for certain tasks that are autonomous, I can go and create reports and says, hey, this is what you would have done on a normal day. 17 reports and it would have taken this much time. Uh, the bot ran, you can double check them, they'll be here. Like it's, it's not to take over or to make people lose jobs. It's to actually increase their efficiency by getting rid of the mundane task. That's the best way I can explain it. I think I see something. What? Okay. So you know how glass will make stuff kind of bend around it. It's got this uh, refraction around it like see where my hairline is how oh, there's a little refraction right there 
and it's just uh, it's an effect of the glass. I think I can see the bounding box of the ladder model. Look, right there. You know how, um, okay, so if you've not watched the La Mag series, uh, let's make a game series. That would be the bounding box of the model itself. That's kind of cool. Stop being a nerd code. Let's go. All right, Pam. We, we got a lot of building to do. We got a lot of building to do. And I only need to build ladders. I don't need to build um, a ton of, uh, actually I don't need to build any more doors. More door. So, tell you what, give me a second to get all these up there and then we'll go, ch we'll go chat up top, okay? All right, so one thing I didn't realize is the mess I was leaving behind. <laughs> <laughs> like, there are ladders all over the the lower part of the bridge, and I did not realize that they were all <laughs> messed up like this, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some cleanup on the way up, so uh, I'll see you, I'm still going to see you up at, at the top, but oh my gosh, <laughs> they're all over the place. Alright, here we go, we're getting closer, <clears throat> closer and closer to the top, I'm only 11 minutes in. But I've actually been playing for over over an hour. <laughs> this is why I normally don't edit or cut or do anything like that because I want you guys to see all the effort and the, the time that goes into trying to build this stuff, you know? And normally I wouldn't cut, but um, I wanted to put a lot of ladders on this time. I wanted to get a lot of work done, so I had to take some time off camera so I could get that done. Also, uh, that's why I'm in a um, private server, is because today, whoa, 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 I almost fell. Today is all about business. Business of building and getting her done. Get, get her done. <clears throat> is that how you say it? Get her done? I don't know, I've, I've not watched it in a while. Larry the Cable Guy, he's getting old in age, isn't he? Like, he, he was my age when I was young. I'm glad some of you got that. That was funny. Oh, I, um, <clears throat> okay. So there's a joke, and I told it to my wife, and she just stared at me. She didn't get it at all. She, like, it was, it was the funniest joke I'd heard, in, like, in a long time. And I don't remember where I heard it. I think, I think it might have been a TikTok. Maybe. Don't quote me on this, but um, it's, okay, what thinks the unthinkable? An iceberg. And a lot of, like, she didn't get it, my daughter didn't get it, and I'm like, okay, think about it. What uh, thinks the unthinkable? An iceberg. It, I know, a horrible joke, but it was funny. I when when I got it, I just laughed and laughed. <sighs> maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one that like found it funny, but I thought it was hilarious. So, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. That is not good. Do you see all those ladders that have gone downward? decided to build on the bottom. <laughs> oh gosh. Now I'm gonna have to play Spider-Man here for a little bit and try and figure out how to build these up. Um, there's that one. There we go. Let's just get a bunch of building done. I uh, actually stayed down there and made a second row of ladders just so we could get more building done and more height to today's episode, but don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> I don't even remember what we were talking about before I came up here. Before I started the long journey up into the atmosphere. And we are up in the atmosphere. I mean, you can see how it starts to turn gray when you're looking down at the, the ground. I mean, that's, that's humidity. That's, you know, because it's a it's kind of a tropical area, especially if you go over to the tropics, you know, and that's, uh, that's, that's clouds there. Those are, those are clouds. Clouds are forming. Mm-hmm. 
It's true. <laughs> um, I I like programming, and I am very passionate about showing it to others. But I can tell when people's faces glaze over. I'm like, yeah, you're you're not really into like the how. I only care about how something works, you know? That something works, not how it works, just that it works. <clears throat> when I see stuff like the, um, what is it, the GitHub app? Is it GitHub or Grubhub? And then there's um, Postmates, Uber Eats, Uber, all these apps, right? I hear about these people that they said they talked to a programmer or they said they talked to someone and they had an idea and they didn't know how to program it but they were they were talking to a programmer who did and that programmer fell through or didn't didn't finish the project i mean it's one thing to kind of work with somebody but here's the thing if you're going to actually kind of go through with an app like that or something you need to hire a programmer. You don't need to talk to one of your friends who happens to know how to program. You need to hire somebody, put it into contract, and then all resulting IP, intellectual property rights, belongs to you. And you, you gotta pay them. I mean, do you know how expensive it is to just try and... Uh, I mean, how much money is in programming? There's a lot. <clears throat> I think businesses and corporations, they they hire out these tech firms and these companies to kind of um, do the programming side of this stuff for them because, I mean, it's very expensive to keep a, a programmer on. And I mean, that's talking down about my job. That's what I do. I'm a programmer for a company. But the, um, the amount of knowledge and the amount of power that comes with knowing how to make a, a computer or a program do something... It's phenomenal. It's it's like knowing the spells that Gandalf cast and knowing how those spells work. That's the only thing I can compare it to. It, it would be like having the inner working knowledge of how to um, cast the fire bolt spell or how, how Peter Pan flies. Not that he can fly or that you just throw, you throw fairy dust on him and then you think good thoughts and he flies. That's the process. That's the, that's the, it works, you know? It's knowing the magic. Knowing what it takes to make that magic work. That's, that's what you're paying a programmer for. And it just saddens me sometimes whenever I hear these stories and I'm like, well, you kind of need to take it seriously when you're hiring a big dog like that because it's, it's a lot of work, and it takes a lot of time. Um, my son, he came up to me and goes, Hey, Dad, could you make me uh, a game like, um, what was it called? Mirror's Edge. It's an obby game for, like, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. There's, like, three different versions of it. Anyhow, it's it's an obby, basically. He loves obbies. He's into obby all the time. He's like, parkour! And I'm like, <laughs> dude, you just did a little hop. But then I'm all like, ah, that was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Until he falls down and gets hurt, which you know I, I used to do that too. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I used to jump off the back of the couch thinking I was Spider-Man or Superman or whatever. Um, but he came up to me and he goes, "Could you make me a parkour game like Mirror's Edge?" And I said, "Buddy, are you willing to wait like six years while I get it done?" He goes, "What?" I said, the game that you're playing, that's what you want me kind of to create for you, only it's your own obby, right? He goes, yeah. I said, there was a team of like 30, 40, 50 people all working on that game. And they were working on it constantly from 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock at night. That was their job. That's that's what they did. They came together and created this this program, this game that you're playing. And all the detail and all the stuff that goes into that game was created by a team over the course of like three years. So you want me, the one person who's not on a team, 
who doesn't have all the resources that a company would have to create you a game that you're going to be able to play. It took that team three years, or even if it took them a year, I, working by myself, could not develop a game like that. So that's why it's so amazing when I see games inside Lumber Tycoon 2 and I see stuff that is created by, or not just Lumber Tycoon 2, in any Roblox game. It is an amazing feat to create a really good game. Even if it's a April Fool's joke of an Easter egg. It's still, I was not expecting that. That was an amazing prank. <laughs> To be honest, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about the, um, the, oh, what, what was the name of it? Let me go back over to home. It was the Frig, uh, Frigid Arcadia. It was the Egg Hunt 2020 Agents of Time. Um, if you look in my previously played or in, in, under my favorites, it's there. Uh, yeah, that, that was an April Fool's joke, and it was... <laughs> really good <laughs> like a lot better than I was expecting I I did not think it was going to be that detailed for what they did I mean <clears throat> they accredited me to it uh, and stuck my name on it and stuff like that but I, I really was just a just a figurehead to like propagate the the myth to, to get it popular that's all I did you know um, thought about programming some of the missions and stuff like that, but I mean, even then, I, I just don't have time. And what's crazy is, I think someday it's going to come down to me choosing in between creating games or creating YouTube videos. And now, I, I love that you guys love my videos. I love that you come and you comment and you, you like the relaxation of it. I think I've... I've pretty much covered most things from from war to politics to to death to suicide to bullying like I've I've covered a lot of bases and I've covered it in a way that is family friendly that it is you can talk about these things you can tell somebody that it's okay to be sad you can tell somebody that it's okay to celebrate the little things that you did, you know, and that you are special. That every person that you meet is unlike any other person in the world. That should mean something to you. That should be something very special. Even, even if you think that person is annoying or kind of weird or whatever it is that you're thinking about that person, just know that they're the only one. That's it. There's nobody else exactly like them, even twins. So if you if you have a twin brother, twin sister, twin siblings, okay, you are not the same. You're not like each other. I mean, you might look like each other and you might have the same kind of genes, but you are definitely different. Personality-wise, um, looks-wise, you're going to be slightly different. There's no, no such thing as an identical twin. Okay, and even if there were, after the moment of birth, your experiences change you. You become your own individual person. You are different. <sighs> Sorry, I got a proud moment right there. Proud moment in humanity for me. I just, I want people to know that. And I think I have accomplished it. That's what I've wanted you guys to know for the longest time, and I'm glad that I got the message across. My kids are growing up. They're watching other YouTubers and other videos now. They've got different interests. I'm growing up. My channel has changed very drastically from what it originally started as, and... <sighs> Now, I know a lot of you in the comments right now, and a lot of you watching this video are getting really sad. You're like, no, go, don't stop doing it, no. I understand, okay? I'm not, this is not me saying, I'm no longer making videos, and it's not an April Fool's joke, and it's not, 
It's just me talking. It's just, it's just us talking out loud. You know, the thoughts that randomly appear inside my head, especially when it comes to me wanting to do more with development and gaming, you know? I love lumber and I probably will play it until I'm in the retirement home and my kids are all grown up and they've got kids and grandpa's playing lumber tycoon 2 again. What you doing grandpa? Oh, I'm trying to get this old computer to work so I can get back into my lumber. You know, and it it's okay. I have a bug. I have a bug. Not like a computer bug. What are you? Oh, come here, you little thing. Oh, oh, oops. <clears throat> I think I just crushed him. I think it was a little gnat. The weather is getting warmer, so I would imagine little gnats and little things are coming out to of hibernation. Wait, do gnats hibernate? No, they just die, right? That's a life cycle. Do gnats migrate? These are questions you should probably Google before asking. Yeah, you're right. Anyhow, like I said, I'm, I'm getting into the RPA programming, the, the robotic programming, and the robotic process analysis, analyst, whatever it's called. And I've also been getting into Unity, programming actual, like, <laughs> sorry, that would have sounded wrong. Programming games that are not Roblox. And getting back into scripting and, and just different languages. And I've had to relearn some Visual Basic, which was the first language I started on. That is incredible. I'm using Visual Basic again. Of course, it's visualbasic.net, so it's, it's something... I haven't touched. Visual Basic.net was very new, and I remember when I got VB5, it was the learner's edition, and it cost like a hundred and thirty something dollars, but I wanted it so bad. Now you can go and get Visual Basic Studio Edition or Community Edition. Free. Absolutely free. You can create your own own apps. You wanna create that awesome idea, that app idea that you have, like, oh, what if these people had an app to get these things and blah 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 go make it you can absolutely make your own app for a, a phone an iphone android whatever the case may be windows linux mm. oh it is late Ooh, we're at 27 minutes i don't know if i'm gonna have um a free software fridays today because I got out of here late um, took a nap on the couch I don't want to say I took a nap I fell asleep on the couch because I've been tired I've been very tired I've been working my butt off at work and I've been doing a lot of videos so I think I'm just gonna do the one video today and we will have karaoke tonight which is so weird that I say tonight because it's not actually tonight it's the day before Friday I'm on Thursday, just so you know. This was recorded on Thursday. It releases on Friday. Which is also why I can never get like an April Fool's prank out, because I would have to record it two days prior to the to the actual April Fool's. Which is the way we're supposed to do. I mean, you're supposed to be, think, be thinking about the future code. Yeah, it's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with just being me. Anyhow, now that we have, uh, if you guys missed it, the last episode of Lamag, we uh, we got the base to save, or the, the canvas to save. So the building system is working and functional. So now, all I gotta do is just go and implement it into um, my lumber. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. It's going to be fun. Make it where you can only build on your base, and then when you select something from the items, it doesn't actually appear until you've selected it, you know? And then we can have models moving around. Oh, oh, it's gonna be so good. So good. Anyhow. <clears throat> oh my goodness. How much further can I go? You know what? Let me pause it. I'll get these last little bits on. You know, no, no, I'll, I'll do, yeah, actually, yeah, 
I'm, I'm just gonna pause it. We're gonna break right now, and then uh, when I'm done, I'll do the outro. It's a long way down when you fall. Just saying. Still building. Still going up. Lots of time. No! Dang it! <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> oh. Okay, a little bit of an update of what I had to do. Um, the doors were stuck at the top, so I couldn't open or close these. Um, I actually had to go and open up all the doors that I wanted to open. These two were stuck down here at the bottom, and then I had to reload the base for that door to open. So a little a little tip if it, if you're building one of these uh, these bridges. So <clears throat> still building. Real quick, I'm going back up through the doors that I've all placed and stuff um, after reloading, and you'll notice like some of these, like this is open, open open down here in the bottom left hand side you'll see open door okay if you see something like this close door click E on it and then move your mouse off and then back on and it should say open make sure that they're all in the open position otherwise when you load in it's possible that that door will open automatically before the rest of them are loaded in and you'll get gaps and your bridge won't work so be right back. Okay, I have checked all the doors. All the doors are in the open position. They are ready to be tested, so I'm gonna jump down to the bottom, and then uh, we'll open the door, drive out to the end, see how far we got. Whee! Oh my gosh. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Right into the ground there. Oh my gosh, am I stuck? Oh, I am stuck stuck, aren't I? What if I, what, can I jump and do something like this? Oh gosh. Help, send help, send help. Ooh, there's a the little green pad. Look, 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 it's the little green selling pad. It's underneath the uh, What Are Us. That's pretty cool. We are so close. The island, it's like, it's right there. Oh, come on. That was like three hours of work. Three hours of, of, of in-game work. Okay, so I started at like what? 9 30, 10 o'clock, and it's now 1 10 a.m. And I still haven't gotten all the way across there. So this is it's a little disappointing, but I'm gonna work on it. We're gonna get this done. So um, by the way, if it were three hours of gameplay, it would have been six episodes. So that's an entire another week. I'm going to try and get this done over the weekend, um, and just keep me motivated, send me messages on Twitter, be like, Code, is it done yet? Is it done yet? And, and you know what? I will do my best to try and get this finished out today. Or not today, but this weekend. Happy Friday, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things. I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's up to you. That is your choice. If you want to subscribe, awesome. If not, there's nothing I can do to like force you to do anything. It's your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday. No, um, no, no, no. We have we have karaoke tonight, and then we have um, live stream tomorrow afternoon, and then we have um, uh, it's custom matches Fortnite um, on Saturday night. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night, weekend, day, whatever the case may be, and love you guys. Outro.